What's up guys, it's Jared with Vandalistic Vlogs here and uh, today I just wanted to bring a video out to kind of bring a bit of attention to something that's happening in the Christian community in Australia at the moment. Um, obviously it's not a new thing. Marriage equality. What I want to do is I want to have a look at this news piece that uh, ABC Australia brought out. The 28 year old Liam Webb getting married in a church is high up on his list of priorities. It's about falling in love with someone and being with them the rest of your life in sacramental marriage. Now Liam will be able to do just that. In the first meeting of ministers of the Uniting Church in Australia since the same-sex plebiscite, its National Assembly agreed to give ministers the power to marry same-sex couples. Now I can have a Christian marriage. <laughs> As a Christian, the church is the centre of my life. Many parishioners have welcomed the news. The decision from Assembly has opened the final official door. They include Josie She's a female Hitch, reverend. who were forced to fly to New Zealand to tie the knot two years ago. We're feeling really blessed today. We are absolutely be renewing our vows. We are all very much in favour of the decision that's been made. But the United we Church says that despite the change, ministers will still be able to uphold the traditional definition of marriage. No minister will have to conduct same-sex marriages if it conflicts with their beliefs. We don't want to force our view on other ministers and other congregations. Sure. The Uniting Church says a number of its ministers argued strongly against the change, but it's tightly controlling the announcement. Some ministers had initially agreed to speak to the ABC about the decision, but they've now been instructed not to, with all ministers being barred from speaking to the media. The church will now turn its focus to creating a new liturgy for same-sex ceremonies, with the first same-sex couple to walk down the aisle before the end of the year. Zyla Charismal, ABC News, Melbourne. Wow. Mm. Okay, so uh, Simone, Eugene and I were talking about this after church today, and uh, the thing that we all kind of agreed is pretty worrying is that why is this being done and who's doing it? It's obviously not being done for the betterment of the church. The people who are, the people who have made this decision, are they doing it because they think it's a way to show love to people? Are they doing it because of a backlash internally in regard to the matter? Or are they doing it because of a backlash externally because of the matter? And I honestly think out of those three things, it's got to be the third. People inside churches, in my own personal experience, this is as anecdotal as it gets, but people inside churches aren't up in arms about How can we go? We need Jesus in our church. Quite the opposite. I mean, you can say that, you can say that it's hateful, love is love, and all sorts of other nonsense, but you're not going to your local mosque and asking them to make you a uh, pork belly. Do you know what I mean? You know, I, I really don't understand why it is. Christianity is one of the only religions that is openly mocked, disregarded as being uh, out of step with current culture. We hate everybody. <laughs> We had everybody and we're responsible for all the all the restrictions in the world and you know what you know all of the um, all the horrible things that happen in the world. Just it seems to me as though there's something inside the United Church where they've basically said, look, it, it, it's time that we, we've got to get with the times. I mean, they have a they have a, a, a reverend there who was a woman. Now I'm not saying that to be, I'm not pointing that out in terms of being sexist. Um, there's just prescribed jobs, prescribed roles, and prescribed responsibilities for both men and women in the Bible. And if you are preaching at a church uh, whose existence is based on the teachings of the Bible, then you know that's not up for debate. It's not it's not for somebody outside of the church to come in and say, oh that woman should be allowed to have that job because women's rights which is ridiculous by the way. Um, if you're a feminist in today's society and you don't understand that there's no rights that women have that men 
don't have or that men have that women don't have like everybody has the same rights it's not men's rights it's not women's rights it's human rights that's so stupid anyway getting off track this is as far as I can tell really only to appease a loud minority and to virtue signal to the ever watching media that no no we're we're progressive we're we're right up there you know with everybody else we like BuzzFeed too but there's got to be people in that church that were part of this going forward that didn't believe in this that weren't happy about it but were scared to say something imagine what those people thinking that oh how can i say anything against these people and risk my church family turning against me i can't really think of what it would be like to be in that position because i, I personally have never done or said anything that would have me be ousted by my church family um you know we're, we're a pretty diverse mix of terrible broken human beings but we all come together in the understanding of exactly that fact that we are all lacking and we none of us are perfect and just to think that somebody might be uh, drowned out by a popular idea that's uh, kind of sad really the other thing i have to point out is this 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 kid first of all shave that mustache that it's no. If you're a Bible-believing Christian, you've given your life to Christ. Do you think gay marriage is high on his list of things that he hopes that you accomplish? Do you think that's something that he is happy you're celebrating? That, I, look, and people are going to think I'm an ass for saying this, but your happiness isn't as important as you might think. <laughs> so I don't know how to say this properly. Is it impossible to be a gay Christian? No, not at all. Is it possible to be a practicing gay Christian? Is that what I mean to say? No, okay, let's put it like this. Is it possible to actively participate in a homosexual lifestyle and continue to be Christian? And I feel like the answer is no. Violence? Alcohol abuse, drug abuse, you're not supposed to carry them with you for the rest of your life once you come to Christ. These are things that they might not completely go away. You might not completely rid yourself of different addictions and things. And I know that everybody, you know, struggles with, you know, different things day to day. But at no point would we ever say to someone in our church family, Hey, uh, I know you're a recovering alcoholic. Wanna go out for some drinks? Wanna, <laughs> do you know what I mean? We, you, you don't encourage people to continue to do things that are damaging to their relationship with God. And uh, yeah, I mean, The whole point of having a church family is to support each other, but also to rebuke one another. You're supposed to be looking out for your brothers and sisters to say, that's not on, here's why. Do you need a hand to help? You know, do you need a hand out of this? Not good on you, let's make it a normal thing. This is super ranty. <laughs> but anyway, that's just how I feel about it. I feel like we are too quick to lay down arms and uh, label everything as normal. Label everything as, well, it's just, you know, a cultural melting pot and these are the, this is the way of a thing today. And, but why? why? Why can't you question that? And, you know, there's people in the United Church that must have been saying that. And now, uh, the other thing I have to point out is that there's something that's not shown on this, but something that was said in church today was there is a there is a small body inside of the uniting church I believe it's the uh, uh, Australian Church of Confessing Christians uh, who are basically a body um, within the uniting church of Australia um, who are saying let's let's not <laughs> 
Uh, and, uh, you know, good on them. Can't one day say, this is what I believe in. This is important to me and here's why it's important. And then the next day you get a bit of, get a bit of static from, from the community about one particular thing have that totally be in conflict with what you believe and then change it to what a peace public anyway anyway with all that being said i'm gonna leave it there because this is getting super long god bless look after each other see something say something and i'll see you in the next one bye